seemed like the second half, something something just flipped. I mean, what what did you see on the court that just kind of changed and led to just kind of uh, you guys being out of sorts? Uh, I mean, honestly, I, th I think we did a good job. Like, our, our shots were going in when we were able to get the, down the floor and get a shot up, but we had too many turnovers. And we, we talked about having the limited turnovers at the start of the game. It just didn't work out in our favor, and that's about it. Yeah. I mean, Richland's pressure is, I mean, have you guys seen much like that this year? Did they do anything differently than, than what you guys are accustomed to? Uh, I mean, they had a lot of random double teams, and I, I feel like Yanni did a really good job at finding the open person when they double teamed him, and uh, they, they, like, full court manned, like, a couple of our guys, and we only saw that a couple other times. But, I mean, at, at some points, they, our team did really well at handling it, and other times it just kind of fell apart and got to us. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you were part of this team last year, obviously, and the roles kind of flipped a little bit for Yanni in particular, kind of becoming yeah. a, a bigger uh, ball handling yeah. kind of presence. I mean, how did that just kind of like change your team this year? And how, how do you feel like he kind of handled that, that different role? Oh my God, he blew me away. Like I, like just seeing his transformation from, from last year to this year, like he's one of the best passers I've, I've ever played with. And he, he just blew me away. Yeah. Fair enough. So, uh, what, what was just kind of the takeaway of uh, coach's message afterwards? What did, what did you guys talk about? Uh, I mean, really, it was just important to him that, that we we learned a lot um, going through this program, and, and our, our coaches were amazing. And throughout throughout my my whole four years, everybody else is however long they've been here, but coaches are amazing, and it's it, it is more than just just basketball like they, they teach us so much stuff and and they really wanted to hit on that since the season's over now like we don't we don't have another year to go play basketball like we, we have to improve as people and sons and brothers and whatever you know. no i'm good all right well thank you uh, so re really just it's starting the same place that uh we asked josiah i mean just the first half, offensively, think, you know, you guys were rolling a little bit more. But the second half, uh, what changed for you guys? Like, why, why were you more out of sorts? Do you feel like? I just felt we let them speed us up a lot, get us out of our stuff easily, which kind of led to us kind of going through this, just going through the motions, running the same like basic sets over and over, which they, they caught on to really quickly. They're a really good team. I didn't feel like we lost at all on the defensive end. Obviously, we broke down at the very end in the last couple of minutes when the game was a little bit out of reach, but. I felt like it was really just the offense, and we struggled on, struggled on getting into our sets, struggled on taking care of the ball. Obviously, struggled in the first half more on shooting outside shots. Mm -hmm. Got a little, got a little bit better in the second, but just couldn't keep it together for all uh, four quarters like we needed to. When you were the primary ball handler, um, you know they were doubling you a mm -hmm. lot, and it seemed like in the first half in particular, like you were doing a good job of kind of finding the balance and distributing and when to get your shot. I mean, how, how did you just kind of strike that balance? Uh, I mean, I've been getting out a lot this year, so yeah. as I started bringing the ball up more, and I guess it took me a while, I'm not going to lie, to get used to it. Not in this game, just throughout the year. And uh, in the first half, I felt like my teammates did a good job of getting to the spots. They needed like, to get the spots in the double spread out on the three-point line. We just, just couldn't hit shots. Sai was cutting really well. Grace was moving on three-point line really well, but just couldn't get one to fall. Yeah. Yes. Story of the night, yeah. What, what was it like just kind of taking on that new role this year? I mean, how, how much did that challenge you? But also, like, how, how much did you kind of like trying something new? I mean, I'm not going to lie. Even though I knew I slimmed down a little bit, got a little bit faster, worked on, worked on my handle a lot, I, did, I didn't expect that coming in. Like, I, I knew I was going to have to do a lot more in the terms of playmaking for this team, but I, didn't, I couldn't say I expected that at all, especially in the beginning of the season where it was, like kind of, it was kind of like right away. It didn't really ease into it. It was just like, well, we'll see what happens. And I'm not going to lie. It was, a lot, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun this year, and I, I really enjoyed it, though. So just kind of reflecting on the whole season, I mean, you guys obviously had that slow start. You went 13 straight to get to here to Tacoma. I mean, overall, just what did you think of just your team's effort yeah. this season to turn around a slow start? A lot of people doubted us, man. And it, it, dude, it was so much fun proving all those people wrong. And uh, I knew these guys knew we had it in us the whole entire time. The coaches knew we had it in us. And it was just really believing in ourselves, trusting your team, trusting your coaches. And I, I, wouldn't, have, I wouldn't want it to be written any other way, any other way to get to Tacoma. Yeah. So. I'm really proud of these guys. Obviously, there's so much tradition with this program. Coach talked about it a few minutes ago with us. Even though you guys ended your season with a loss of state and didn't get a trophy, do you still find it a successful season for Union basketball? Um, I'd say yeah. I'd say yeah, especially when we had our back against the wall at the beginning of the season. And a lot of people said we didn't have the talent that we had in the years past, and we overcame that. And just getting here, like 
obviously we didn't just want to get here. We wanted to win games. Fortunately, that didn't happen. But getting here is like that's a big accomplishment for any any program, let alone like what is it, nine years in a row, eight years in a row. Eight years in a row, yeah. So it shows that like the coaches over here have built something, and the players have built something that is going to keep going for a while.